In this video, we will be repairing a Dell E177FP 17-inch flat panel monitor. This particular unit has a failure in the backlight power supply. When you power the unit up, all you get is a about two seconds worth of display, and then the uh, backlight shut off. The unit is still working at that point. If you shine a flashlight, you will see uh, a faint image but the backlights themselves have shut off. Uh, that is um, caused by capacitors in the power supply that are shorting out and shutting the power supply down. So today we'll show you how to repair that. Um, first thing you need to do is remove the power cable and the VGA signal cable from the unit. Then remove the unit from the stand. You should press the small button on the back of it and the unit comes off of the stand. Um, gently lay the unit down flat on a surface with the face down. You need to remove the four screws that were behind the display stand. Just take the standard Phillips screwdriver. Okay, once we get those removed, you flip the unit over easiest way to do it is grab the center of the bezel at the bottom and tilt up and towards the bottom of the monitor and it will start releasing and then just lift as you rotate the monitor around. And there we have the display bezel off. Uh, now you need to flip the monitor on its back, pull the back of the display chassis off. Um, first thing to remember, the little stand removal button is loose. You need to set that to the side. If you lose that, when you put it back on the stand, it's going to be very hard to get it back off. Um, the next things we need to do is the two screws that hold the power plug in. These are also just standard Phillips screwdriver or Phillips screws. Next, you need to remove the 3 16 nuts on the side of the VGA connector. Just use a, a small nut driver for that. And we have those removed now. Um, the next thing to do will be unplug the backlights themselves. We have a um, blue and black and a pink and white on the top and the bottom. They just unplug from their little sockets. Then on the top of the unit, you need to remove this plate. Just lifts up and slides to the side. Um, inside, you will see the flat video cable. There's a white and black connector that's plugged into a white socket. If you take a screwdriver, you lift up on one end of it towards the back or top of the monitor, and then do it that way with the other side. The connector will come free. Last thing to do to get before you get to electronics, uh, there's two screws on each end of the monitor. Again, they're just standard Phillips screws. Remove those. Okay, and the last thing is the uh, front panel control. It's just held to the monitor with double-sided tape. <clears throat> if you gently lift one end, it will disconnect from the panel itself so that we can remove the electronics from the panel. Um, now if you kind of tilt it forward, the two halves will separate, and then you have the two pieces. We'll set our monitor panel to the side and this is the control board that we'll be doing the repair work on. It's held in place with five Phillips screws again. We'll remove those.
and then we can gently lift the board up um, and out. Here's the control board. This is the board we will be doing the repair work on. Um, we will be repairing the capacitors, um, two on the backlight inverter, the rest in the power supply. Um, if you notice, there's a couple of capacitors that have, uh, it's basically hot melt glue on them to hold them on. Um, once you replace those capacitors, it's not necessary to put hot melt glue back onto them. That's kind of the manufacturer's way to, to see if uh, anybody has changed the board. They put that on there. If it had to go in for warranty work, um, if the, the hot melt glue was missing, they knew somebody had um, gone onto the board and done some repair work on it. Um, all right, we're ready to go. Let's take it over to the soldering iron station and replace our capacitors and we'll be ready to go. That'll be in the next video.